Hi everyone and welcome to part two of getting started with uh, Blue Sky Statistics. I've assumed that you've uh, watched the part one video and uh, you've installed R, you've installed all the packages that Blue Sky Statistics uh, requires and you've installed uh, Blue Sky Statistics as well and, and at least initiated the uh, trial. Uh, so if all that's done, uh, you can go ahead and launch the Blue Sky Statistics application, all programs, or Blue Sky Statistics. When you, and when you click Blue Sky Statistics, the application will launch. And uh, what you will see is an empty data set. So the paradigm is very simple. With Blue Sky Statistics, you open data sets and you uh, run your analysis and you observe or you review your output. So I'm going to open up the study of labor and income dynamics uh, data set. It's in my recent data sets. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a scatter plot of uh, uh, wages versus education because I want to see uh, how, uh, how wages trend with level of education. So I'm going to go to graphics, I'm going to go to scatter plot, and there are literally hundreds of commands like scatter plot, uh, uh, different modeling commands, statistical commands that we have out of the box. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. I select wages, I select uh, education, I group the plot by gender, I uh, choose a marginal box plot and least square lines and I click OK and you will see the output of my analysis show up and you basically see that as level of education increases wages does increase and males earn a little more than females but as level of education increases that income disparity falls down. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up another data set. Uh, this time it's going to be on cars. This happens to be an SPSS data set. You can open up Excel, you can open up SAS data sets, you can open up data in, uh, in uh, database tables, uh, wide variety of formats that are supported. Uh, in this case, I'm interested in how miles per gallon have trended over the years. Uh, I'm going to go and do a box plot. I'm going to choose miles per gallon. I'm going to choose year and I'm going to go ahead and run it and you will see that I see a nice box plot and as uh, the you know from 1970 to 1981 there's been a gentle upward tick in the miles per gallon so if I want to go ahead now and take that analysis one step further if I want to uh, group that further by origin uh, I can go ahead and do that. There are several other advanced options in options that I'm uh, in the options. You can click on that and uh, review it uh, when you install the product. Uh, but I'm going to keep it simple for now and I'm going to click OK. And uh, there you see that uh, I'm going to maximize the output window a little bit that uh, the European cars uh, have generally had uh, have been most economical in terms of miles per gallon followed by the Japanese cars and then the American cars. So as I said, uh, several statistical commands, several model fitting commands, uh, several graphic commands, several data manipulation commands. Uh, I'm going to quickly uh, open up a data set uh, and do a uh, regression. Uh, I'm going to open up the long leaf regression data set and uh, we will uh, we will try and predict uh, the level of employment. I'll go into analysis, I'll go into model fitting, I'll go into linear regression and I will try and predict uh, employment based on the predictors that I've selected. I'll run the analysis and you will see the output. So uh, back to a couple of uh, basics on the user interface. As I said, uh, two main windows. You're looking at the main application window. The main application window allows you to open up multiple data sets uh, in different formats. You see all the data and the data grid. You can change the data and the grid, grid data grid if you so desire. At the bottom, you will see the variables tab. The variables tab allows you to access more information about your variables. You can right click, add a new variable, delete a variable. You can change a measure from uh, scale is the same as numeric, nominal is the same as factor. So I can change from scale to uh, nominal if I do, if I, uh, do desire. Uh, I can set levels and factors and so on and so forth, all with a couple of clicks. Uh, 
Uh, I don't have to write syntax for, for all of these uh, simple, uh, relatively simple things. Uh, really quickly, I'm going to go back uh, to the uh, output and you see that here's where I have the output of my analysis. Uh, this output has very rich tables. Uh, I can go ahead and save it to PDF. I can save it to Excel. On the right of the output window, I have the syntax uh, uh, or the R command editor window and here I can type in R commands. So as soon as I type in R commands or R functions, I see the output on the right hand side. So I've got a simple uh, uh, data set that I, uh, or rather a simple uh, R syntax file that I've just opened and I can uh, open up as many syntax, R syntax files that I want and write as much as R syntax. Here's a simple example of uh, where I've created a data frame. I click it, I execute the R syntax, I see the output. Again, I can execute this entire file if I click the green button. However, I can highlight a line and, and uh, just execute that line as well. Here you'll see the R output that you typically are used to. Uh, you can format that output using bSky format and you'll get nice uh, tabular output. And I've got uh, uh, you know some good information here on how you can use the bSky format command to get nice tabular output for a wide variety of uh, commonly used classes including lists, matrices, uh, data frames, uh, the HTS class, the linear model class and several others as uh, well. So I definitely recommend that you read uh, the uh, getting started uh, uh, dot r uh, syntax file and I'll point you to the sample data sets as well. Another thing I want to point out with you'll be toggling back and forth between writing write r syntax and uh, reviewing the output so you can hide the syntax window and this little button here will hide or open up the syntax window. Uh, so just giving you more space uh, to review the output if you do so uh, desire. Uh, let me go back and show you uh, how you can access help. Uh, uh, every command is associated with help. I'm going to go to a data command and do aggregate and here you have that little arrow here. So every dialog that you bring up has this arrow help and you can click it and you can access help. Uh, not only that, you can get detailed R help if you do so desire by clicking the R help uh, button that I like I just did and review the detailed R uh, help. So another thing that is very, very powerful is that uh, we show you the R syntax. So all, all the functions here at the end of the day generate R syntax. And uh, R can be, it's got a, re, you know, a fairly steep learning curve. So this tool, one thing that it does very, very well is makes it very easy for you to learn R. So let's say I went, went go, I just ran the uh, scatterplot uh, command. Now every command as I said generates R syntax and if you want to see the syntax and you want to modify the syntax perhaps to uh, take advantage of another option available within the command all you need to do is run is open up the dialog and hit syntax and you will see the uh, syntax in the output. And here I have the scatterplot uh, syntax. You can go in, you can uh, modify the syntax, run it with different parameters, or add additional parameters uh, if you do so desire. And you can do that on any of our uh, commands. So I'll go back uh, as an example and show you the uh, regression. Uh, I'm going to history and uh, go ahead and click syntax. And here you see you get the uh, our syntax that we uh, ran for the regression command. And uh, the other thing I just wanted to point out is that we ship with sample data sets. Uh, these sample data sets are in the install directory, which is uh, C colon users, and this will vary, you, you know, it really depends on where you've installed it, but in my case, it's in C users. Uh, user c users username uh, app data local uh, blue sky blue sky st st statistics and there you'll see the sample data sets we provide 
as well as uh, you can access the sample R syntax file uh, th that'll uh, you know help you uh, be more comfortable with using the syntax editor window so uh, with that we've come to the end I'd like to thank you for your time if you have any questions please email support at blueskystatistics.com once again that's support at the rate of blueskystatistics.com. Uh, we look forward to uh, your questions, your feedback, and uh, this concludes uh, the part two of getting started with Blue Sky Statistics.